Hello guys, Create Tutorials here. Uh, yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, the OC breakdown uh, that you might uh, or that you may saw in my OC probably. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, this is it. Okay, this is that it. It's basically. It's this one, I'm just gonna turn off the audio. Yeah, looks pretty cool, I think. So, before I start this uh, breakdown, I just wanna tell you that if you are. If you don't know much about After Effects, if you recently started using it and don't know much about it, uh, how to do uh, several effects and stuff like that. I don't recommend you doing this breakdown then. I think you should be a little bit more better because at some parts it gets uh, uh, really hard for me to explain. So, uh, yeah. So, when you have done this, if you, I will have the download link uh, to the clip in the description. Um, so you can I would love you to like uh, edit it and send it as a video response so I can see uh, yeah yeah so I can see what you did basically so yeah this is the final comp and whatever um, so I will just start so just drag in your clip to a new comp uh, and I'm just gonna drag my clip to where I want it so I want it right up right when I'm outside of the building so I'm just gonna split there uh, and then I want from uh, when it kinda jumps down so about there it's good and I'm just gonna go to 10 and I think that's okay and then trim to work area so now we got this sexy thing okay so now what you wanna do is just go to new uh, new layer and create an adjustment layer and just uh, just make three adjustment layers and on the first one you wanna rename this to CC the second one blur and the third one, effects. Okay, so now I have just three different layers and one, uh, or one clip, basically. So let's start with a, a blur thingy. So what I do is just, you see these numbers? Let's turn up the quality a bit. You see these numbers? Like it should be like 500 for you, but this uh, yellow number. Uh, on the blur, I always do take the rectangle tool, and then I draw like a mask just um, above the uh, the yellow number thingy. It's like above it. So, and then I go to effects and uh, effects and what is effects and presets and uh, write in Gaussian blur. Just add it on, put in 5 or 6, uh, and then go to your mask menu, and you want to put the mask feather to about 100. I think it's good. So now I get a little bit different field, like this, this part is blurry, blurred. So now the color correction, so I'm just going to go to a sexy part. Uh, I think that's cool. So I always take the resolution full, add in looks, which is magical looks, and just drag it to your CC layer, and then click on edit on your magical looks. And I'm just gonna use the color corrections in my pack, uh, which uh, it's in my editing pack and also my CC pack that I made. Uh, yeah. But I think this is too much contrast, I'm just gonna drag the contrast down a little bit. There, and drag down the curves a bit. Okay, so that's cool, now we have a CC and some blur. Now on the effects, I usually add 
uh, all the effects and I'm going to keyframe from like uh, 0 to 100 and blah blah like that I am usually add this to this adjustment layer I think it's nice that so first off uh, blur and sharpen I add uh, CC radial blur CC vector blur and directional blur and then I go to the distort menu and add warp and go to the warp style and change it to inflate and put the band to zero just for now and then the wave warp uh, and put the wave height to zero so now we oh one more uh, CC light burst you search that so it should be CC light burst 2.5 and put the ray length to zero. So now I have all the effects that I usually have. And now what you want to do is just make a new solid. So just make a new solid, black, and this one is for the uh, black bars. So I'm just gonna rename it and black bars. Now you wanna add in CC jaws. Let's transition. And then you want to drag the height down to zero, and then completion, drag it up to how much you want it. I usually have it on 84, I think that's good. And you, uh, by the way, uh, the only reason that I'm using this because I like if I'm going to uh, keyframe the yeah the black bars, if I would like them to go in, it's just really easy, it's just keyframe the completion and drag it up and down like it's so easy so yeah so basically now we have pretty much all we have <laughs> okay so now I'm just gonna drag in the song that I'm going to use uh, and I'm just gonna click LL and now what you want to do is just find the where the bass drops uh, usually in a OVC you like to have when you shoot you want the base to drop so I'm just gonna re uh, uh, preview it so I can see where the drop is okay it's not there here I think it's here okay so wait so basically here's the drop so I know this because I already used this but yeah as you see it's right here so now what we, we are actually going to do is create this uh, this sinking this part so we will just do that real quick and for all of you who know yes I used Baker's Tuts uh, tutorial for this so if you don't get my my tutorial on this now uh, just go and check Baker's Sinking tutorial up it's easy and good so on the beat like on the beat you wanna place oh you wanna place uh, pretty much where your gun shoots so you see this muscle flash like this um, yeah and then basically what you wanna do is just drag back it's like um, this is the complicated part um, yeah I, I'm just gonna drag drag back everything because I want everything to be in it uh, if that makes sense but yeah so I'm just gonna listen to the song and go through how many beats it, it is so okay so it's six uh, beats that I'm going to sync up to now so uh, yeah so I'm just gonna go to right click and Pre-compose the layer. Uh, just call it clip or whatever clip. And now we have this uh, pre-composed clip. 
So what you wanna do is just right click on the song, go to keyframe assist assistant and convert audio to keyframes. So that should make us a, a null object. Uh, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> okay, so on the audio amplitude, uh, the null object we got, we get all these keyframes. And what you can do is just go and delete the left channel and the right channel because we all, all we only need the both channels. So that's cool. So now what you wanna do is you wanna click U uh, and you wanna click the slider and you wanna go to this graph editor. And here you can basically uh, yeah see where your beats goes from like. As you see here, uh, like from 15 or yeah, like 25 from about like yeah, I usually have like 30 to 50, or if that makes sense, I don't know, I don't even know, but yeah, you just wanna see there. <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't get that part. Just just check out Baker's tutorial because I'm not good at this to explain stuff. But yeah. Uh, so now what you wanna do is you wanna split uh, the clip where you want it to be like normal, where you don't want it to sync anymore. So I'm just gonna go to the same spot as I did here. So about there. Okay, I'll just line that up. Is this the same? No, a little bit. I think this is good. Yeah, we just use this. So you wanna split it? No, not save it. Okay, you wanna split it? Yep. Um, and then what you wanna do on this clip? is you wanna pre-compose it and before we did this leave all attributes in blah blah you wanna click on this move all yeah then you just wanna yeah and then you wanna split it so now you got this and now you wanna drag in the twigstar 59.94 click this oh you wanna hold alt and click the speed and go down so you see the audio amplitude and the slider thingy then you wanna put linear linear and that thing bracket or whatever you know then you wanna take this thing and pick whip to the slider and then comma uh... thirty comma 60 comma 1 and comma 100 and then close bracket okay I know it sounds uh, confusing but just write in this and then click away and then when you scroll through this you basically see that it ends right here and you see the it ends there so what you want to do is just go to this again, click U so you can see this again. Then on the last number, when you see the 100, you want to change that to a higher number. So if you change this to 700, then you are here. So, but it's not enough basically. So just take a high number to get it. So I, want, I know mine is 1. one one four hundred, so one thousand four hundred. Or wait, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So this is it. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. This is perfect. So you wanna. Just 
take a number of this, the, this last number that's 100, you want to put it to a higher number so it basically fits to this thing. So, um, so basically what, what we have now, if I gonna RAM preview, uh, I think this is the, is going to be enough for this part one, uh, so stay tuned for part two. So this is the you see, it looks perfect, and it's perfect. Yeah, so that's basically it. So stay tuned for part two, and uh, I will see you. Bye.